And we're back on this Tuesday morning. Dr. Jan White with us this morning. Lucas had to sneak out. He's going to be at court early this morning, so good luck to him. How are you? Good. Great. Good. What's your topic today? Well, I'm talking about older adults and voting. Do you and get out and vote? They come out in droves. That's what I thought you were For a say. lot of reasons. So today I'm challenging the younger people to get out and vote because they're just outnumbered. They are, and you know, and such a you hear so many people sometimes complaining, and then I'm I'm always one to say, well, did you get out and vote? And if they say no, I was like, I don't want to hear you cry. Yeah, I don't either because it seems like the people who complain the loudest are the Most ones who don't vote. vote. Mm -hmm. So why do older adults? Why do they come out in droves? Their well, voice is important. <clears throat> that's right, and you know, there's an old Russian saying that you vote with your stomach. Mm -hmm. You vote for the issues that really affect you. So for older adults, um, of course, there's more of them, and they cast votes for uh, issues that impact them. I think they take it more seriously. That's right. And so there's, there's three main reasons. First of all, they want to protect Social Security and Medicare. Of course. This is key Medicare. to their retirement, key to their golden years. Okay? <laughs> so They don't want anything that they've worked so hard for to be taken away. That's right. And so... Older adults have less mobility than younger people. And think about it, younger people, in fact, Lucas was just talking about this. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they often live in an apartment or they just, just moved and they, oh, they're busy raising kids, they forgot to register to vote. I don't have time to get down there. Yeah, yeah, so they have to squeeze that in. So there, there is this mobility issue. Older adults are usually homeowners and they're more stable, they've been there a long time. Now, older adults have more time to vote. So younger people are trying to squeeze this in. You know, they have careers going and... Do you think the older you get, the smarter you are with your time? No. No, you don't? No. I think so. No, I think it depends on the individual. Because, you know, I had days where I could just fritter away a whole day. But that's kind of fun. Well, that's called a good schedule and a good job. <laughs> but don't forget, I, I teach online. I'm a professor, and so I can work all day in my pajamas. I know, I love those. Isn't that those great? Are my Mondays. I know it. Pajamas. I, I sure did. I said pajamas. I okay, pajamas. PJs. <laughs> So, 78% of, of people over age 55 vote. That is huge. What was that? 78%. 78% yes. Where uh, 18 to 24, it's only 58%. Because, you know, they're busy, especially people who are in college. You know, you, you move to the different area to attend college. Well, you're not going to register to vote. That's like the least thing on your mind. So why do people Someone's not talking. vote? Why? Uh, they, they're too busy, they have a conflicting schedule, they have an illness or a disability, or they're not interested, which I think is just a huge cop-out. So um, it, Alabama ranks 40th in voting. 40th? 40th. The, t the top three turnouts, Goodness. yeah, we're, at least we're not last. The top oh, okay. three turnout states are Minnesota, Maine, and New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, Alabama is 40, Tennessee is 45. The lowest turnout state is Utah. Really? Yeah, that really surprised me. It surprises me too. I know, I couldn't figure that one out. You? But you know, we need to improve this. Look, Alabama, Tennessee, we're way down, we're, we're way in the bottom part of this. We need to get out and vote. So it's not just if it's raining, like if I was going to say 70% chance of rain today, you won't get out and vote. Most times if it's bad weather, people will stay home, but today there's no chance of rain, so maybe that'll make people get out more. I hope so, because really there is no excuse. Mm -hmm. Get out and vote. You know, as someone was passing something on Facebook, I think it was Gwen from Herbs and More, and she had this really, really old photo of, and it said, get out and vote. Some, and it was talking about women. Get out right. and vote. Someone fought hard for you to be able to vote. That's right. And that was just a good little count. Yes. My grandmother, when she was my age, was not allowed to vote. Women were, didn't have the vote. So get out. That is a great point. Yes. Yeah, so the bottom, so my. Send that to you. That's right. So young, old, get out and vote. Uh, if you think about it, call someone and say, hey, you want to go vote with me? Call a neighbor. You know what? I have to say this. We were in Sunday school um, class Sunday. I'm going to steal your thunder, Jamie. And there was a gentleman that came up to Jamie and said, Jamie, I'm new to the area. And he, a sheriff, he was asking about the sheriff's race. I'm new to the area, and I wanted to ask your opinion on something. And he did. He asked Jamie's opinion, and he's like, look. He's like, we 
great. Lived here, we lived, lived here for goodness what, nine years. Right. We right. got the sheriff's race specifically, and we were like, you know what? We, we personally know the sheriff. He's been right. the sheriff for a very long time. Yeah. Right. So it's a no-brainer. And now Dave and I filled out our uh, ballots already. Mm -hmm. So our sample ballots, and you can get those on SOSAlabama.gov. Everything you want to know. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. Easy. Good. All right. Get out and vote today. <laughs> You're welcome. Good. good job. All right, we're going to take a quick break. When we get back, speaking of the good sheriff, he's with us. Let's talk to him in just a moment. Stay with us. Yeah.